Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Really quickly before we jump into today's video, I wanted to show you these cute dried pressed flowers from Let's Resin. Um, you get all these flowers, a lot of really pretty different colors, and these three different packets of gold leaf. You get gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper leaf in this set. And it's only, I want to say, $12 for all of these. So I wanted to share this with you guys, and I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. We're going to be using one of the little pressed daisy flowers today. So I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. I'm using the Platinum 360 resin, filled up my mold two-thirds of the way full, and here I'm just going in with my silicone paintbrush around the perimeter of the mold to dislodge any bubbles. You can get these molds off Amazon. I'll link them down below as well. And I'm just going to go in with one of those little flowers from Let's Resin and drop that down into my clear. I was trying to center it as best as I could. And I'm just going to push that flower down right into the resin. And if you want to see a video showing step by step how I mix my resin, I will link one of my tutorials down below in the description box showing step by step how I mix my resin. I do it the same way every time, so I just cut the mixing out of this video to save time. I dropped down some peach red alcohol ink from Let's Resin. I'm going to give that a swirl with my silicone paintbrush, and now we're going to draw our flower petals. I'm using Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. It works really great with the Platinum 360 resin. You can also get from her shop. I've been getting really pretty flowers um, with the combination of this resin and the angel white. And I'm just drawing five upside down large hearts. Really easy to do. You want to make sure you don't go super hard with the white or add a lot of white. On this one, I honestly, I had a few blobs of the white go down and that does affect how your flower turns out. So what I should have done is just dip my brush into my white, let the excess drip back off into my cup of white, and then went in and drew my petals. But I had a few spots where, see right here, like a really big dollop of white went down and that affected how my flower turned out. So just take your time and really use less is more with the white and your flower will turn out prettier in my opinion. I went under each of the larger petals and did a smaller upside down heart and I'm just adding a little bit of white around the perimeter of the mold. I did do a swirl in the center where the flower was and I honestly wish I didn't do that and I'll show you why when we demold it here in a few seconds. This is the next day. I just wanted to fill the mold up the rest of the way with some fireworks glitter from Laura's Art Corner. I just poured in about an ounce and let it kind of self level out for a second and then I'm going to take my stir stick and just push it right up to the edge of the mold. Um, the fireworks glitter is one of my favorites. If you guys haven't tried this one, definitely check it out. It's really, really pretty. It's got a lot of different colors in it. Super sparkly and beautiful. I just hit that with my heat gun to pop bubbles and here we are ready to demold it. Let it dry overnight. I'm going to pop it out of the mold and I'll show you what I was talking about when I did that swirl around the flower, I pulled white up over the flower on accident and I did not mean to do that. So next time I would just skip swirling. I wouldn't swirl it at all and that way you won't have this happen. But I really, really love how it looks with the cute little daisy in the center. I just wish that white wouldn't have gone over it, but that's okay, lesson learned. I wanted to upload this video to show you guys what not to do. And you can see some of the big blobs of white as well in some spots. So just take your time and less is more with the white when you make these flower coasters. But let me know what you think. I hope you give this a try. I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. I did do another one after this piece and it turned out a hundred times prettier. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.